What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to that one show where I think I talk about some RC stuff, but mainly I'm just hungry and I talk about tacos. But it's a new day, new show, new week, and we got a great, exciting show today because we're going to talk about something that a lot of you guys need to know about, especially if you're on the West Coast, especially if you're in Southern California. It's going to be an event that you're not going to want to miss. So without further ado, let's kick this bad boy off the right way and let's uh, bring in Martin Lara. Martin, what is going on, brother man? Martin representing Delegations RC. Uh, they are hosting an event going down May 15th uh, in collaboration with Block Boys RC, two great groups that have already hit the pavement running hard. They've had two successful events, one apiece, and they joined forces to give us this uh, this awesome event going on. And uh, Martin's going to kind of fill us in a little bit on the logistics, some of the information. But, man, Martin, thank you so much for joining us, bro. Thank you for being a part of the show. Um, I know that we're having a couple of technical difficulties just getting started this, at the moment. Moment, but man, I, I appreciate you taking the time to hang out with us. Uh, thank you. Appreciate the time with you giving me here. Absolutely, man. So, you know, uh, Martin, so first and foremost, man, um, you know, you, you had an event that you hosted. I, I really wanted to get Chris in here as well. Uh, Chris Mack, uh, if you're watching now, brother, man, I try sending you an invite. Not dodging you. <laughs> Hopefully you got it. Um, but uh, nonetheless, you have two groups of uh, enthusiasts, RC car clubs, and your lineage, if I'm not mistaken, comes from a real car club. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm uh, from a delegation car club. Delegations, man. You got it, man. You heard it first, man. Nene Vaca, what's going on, brother, man? RC Patina guy, what is going on? So you got some lineage here, man. We got some guys with weight. They've they've proven themselves. Block Boys RC did a good job for their inaugural event. Uh, Delegations RC did great for his inaugural event. Um, you know, it, it's kind of great when you see a collaborative effort come from, you know, all realms of life. So, you know, we're here now. You got an event coming up, man. Kind of fill us in, man. What's I'm excited. I'm like, I'm juiced, you know, for one, because I'll let you guys know in a little bit really why I'm super excited, but... Uh, primarily because it's it's coming of age, man, right? It's seeing what these cars are, are doing and then seeing that the RC lowrider scene is just growing that much more and where it is now in comparison to just, you know, a year ago. Um, man, first and foremost, man, tell me a little bit about your background with the RC lowrider scene. Well, I, uh, since I was a kid, I've always built model cars and it's always been like, a dream to make your model car like where you could drive it some kind of way right so i've always made hoppers low riders I, w I was involved in a lot of uh, model car shows at the real young age since five years old i believe was the first um, model car show i went to um so when i seen i used to see like a post of jeffries with the 64 with the 67 rc low riders and he was making them hop and everything that was like exciting you know but I'll be honest, just like I, I used to see pedal cars at times, and I, I'd be like, Dad, give me a pedal car. I want to I want to paint one. And I would be like, that's probably going to be really expensive and never able, able to afford it, right? So when I remember, I started seeing Red Cat and Jeffries posting a 64 uh, RC lowrider going to come out. Like I was like, I want one, and I'm going to make sure I, I'm one of the first ones. So you guys had that pre-reg, I mean, that pre, uh, what was it, to, to buy oh, the, it ahead of time? Yeah, the pre-order, right? pre-order there you go i'm sorry and and i was like man like i put in my pre-order I, I got two of them right away both colors i said i want both hey. so that's where it all started with and and when i got it i was super amazed by it i i kind of like had it as a shelf just on my shelf for a long time then i i seen a candy and chrome was um, offering like paint jobs and stuff. I, I ordered a body right away from him so and, you, were, you were one of the first ones then yeah, I was one of the first. Like, go. I actually, I was trying to get the first one he came out with. But oh, really? I guess, I guess he had a lot of people that wanted it. Sure. So I put in my order, and thank God I, I already got mine. I was really happy and excited with it. But uh, like, I have my Jeffries uh, edition back here. I never really messed with it. I just, you know, dressed it up with the Jeffries thirteens and skirts, and you know, as, as that was just an exciting thing to have. And then I went all out on the on the candy and chrome paint job, I, I ended up painting the bottom and modifying it completely. Dude, I, I love it, man. I love it. You know, I know for, I, I'm speaking for myself, and I know there's a lot of people that share in this feeling, but for me, when the car first dropped, 
you know, and I saw the first initial videos that the crew made here, you know, before I joined forces with, with Red Cat and joined the team, I was in awe. Like, it was every dream that I had growing up to, to own a 64 in general, yeah, right? Exactly. And uh, th to finally see that the, the hobby had caught up to a point where we offered a RC lowrider car, a hopper, you know what I'm saying? And, and take it, like a lot of people, I was skeptic. I was like, man, is this going to be kind of like one of those fads? It's, you know, it's it's... I didn't even care, dude. I didn't care if it was going to be gone the next day. I just knew that when it dropped, I had to have it. I had to own it. I didn't even care yeah. what the price tag was, bro. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to front. I put it on credit. I put it on my firm account because I wanted to be the first one to have it, and I had the first shipment. I didn't I didn't care. I, I'm not telling you to go do that. Don't be, you know, making <laughs> horrible financial decisions, you know. But for me, it was worth it to do that, you know, and, and worth having it you know, to, to, to use and to, to utilize, even if it was going to be more of a shelf queen than any of my other RCs. But ironically enough, it hasn't been that way for me. I use my yeah. RC lowrider more than I use my crawlers these days. You know, and I don't know if you have experienced that yourself. Yeah. Well, I, I've always been in RC just, uh, cause I, I started as a kid with also the, like the nitro, uh, monster truck. And then, uh, when my son was growing up, I started getting him into like little race buggies, short course trucks, and we we're going to <clears throat> different little hobby shops that had tracks, dirt tracks that is. We had our little fun, you know, I mean, for a little while that my son was into it, it lasted, but I've always been real good with, with RC. So nice. when this came out, this thing was just on a different level, you know, and right. and then I started seeing the way people started modifying, because like I said, in the beginning, I, I kind of put mine as a shelf. I didn't really do too much to it, but I, I was following your uh, the Red Cat Lowrider group. And I started seeing all the modifications and stuff. I was like, "Wow, this thing's gonna so so you, you probably go saw, far, just like a motor car." So you probably saw Louis Alcala and Tony Gutierrez spamming the heck out <clears> of the page at the beginning. Oh yeah, <laughs> maybe oh, yeah. maybe flip Chris back in the day, man. Hey, R.I.P. Homie. Um, yeah, you know, I remember a few posts by him too. Yeah, man. So it, that's interesting, bro. And it, you know, for a lot of folks that you know, I forget this all the time when I talk to people. They look at this scene, and it's their introduction. Um, you know, to, oops, it's their introduction to, um, you know, to, to the scene, to the, to the, to the RC world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Give me one sec. Yeah. Those but, guys all like, were really like, uh, they kind of set the bar to what you can do with these cars, you know? And, and I think the bar keeps going up because you still see people doing like some, crazy way out stuff to these cars like man i just seen yesterday i was i was live with nene on, on his stick well not i was not on live but i was watching his life he had a dude on there was he making like the little uh, guys inside the car head uh, swivel their heads around and stuff yeah and he was saying how he did all that with servos i'm like man that guy's somewhere uh, out in in the uh, uk somewhere Dude, it, it's a trip, man. You know, and, and that's the thing that when you look at it from that perspective and you see how many people are actually involved worldwide, man, it, it's kind of kind of a trip. You know, I mean, we've seen it with a lot of different parts of the hobby, but to see it in a niche that we've seen grow from nothing, man, it's dude, it's it's awesome. Right. Yeah, it's amazing, honestly. And, so, and I'm still excited to see I got so much bills that I'm doing and so many ideas I want to do still. And like this thing's fun. I'm. I actually put my real car on hold, you know, just so dedicated to the RC lowriders at the moment. That's what's up, man. So tell me a little bit about what went down. You you obviously been now in the hobby, this part of the hobby, uh, for a little bit. Um, what made you decide to want to create, you know, an event of your own? Well, I saw that uh, when I went, well, first of all, I went to the uh, Black Boys they call like the little meets that they have and they were fun. You know, like I went to one of them and I had, I had the candy and Chrome car and it's like going to a real show. You, you want to show your, your car out. You want to show it off and stuff. And I remember just rolling in with my son with, with the, the orange car and everyone's like, wow, that's a badass paint job, you know? And, uh, and it was just exciting. So, but I hadn't done anything to it yet. It was just the body. And I said, I got to do something for my, that I did on this car as well. So, I took it all apart and painted the bottom, put all the chrome parts on it and, you know, put the 
the uh, made the little hopping more consistent and stuff. Did a little upgrade to my hopping, and pretty much because I knew the San Diego show was coming, and I was trying to get ready for that show. So I remember I was up to like maybe three in the morning working on that car. It was my first time ever taking a car a '64 like that apart. So I was up to like, and it, it brought me those memories and like the nostalgia of when I was a kid building model cars for a show, you know, and, or even like, I remember when I first brought out my, my lowrider, my Malibu, I was up till three in the morning with my dad. We didn't, we got, we heard the, the fireworks go off at midnight for, for new year. And we were getting the cars ready for, for the uh, Majestics picnic. We were having the picnic, the Santa Fe dam. So that's just like, a, it's, it's part of lowriding to, to be like that, you know? So, when I went to the San Diego show, it was fun and I loved it. And I just felt like it was something that I wanted to bring to LA as well. But uh, Chris, uh, Chris Mack beat me to it. He had a show in, that, in LA as well, and it was really successful. And and after that, I said, you know what? I want to build up for a show. I want to build up to have a show as well under my, my banner, you know? And mm-hmm. what happened was I started off as just a little cruise at the park. Let's just everybody come barbecue and hang out with us here. And I said, and we could all have a hop competition because uh, Chris's show, the hop, it got pretty good, you know? So I felt like, man, I want to just do a hop. We're just like, let's pretend we're going to a lowrider picnic and people are going to hop and compete. Sure. So that's where it all started. And and then, uh, you know, I started getting awards and Chris offered to help with some awards. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just make it a show then, you know? And then I got, I got Jerry's on board and Reeves. And even you, after I met you at, at the Long Beach show, uh, you guys were, were uh, willing to support. So I said, you know what? Yeah, let's just make it a full-blown show and and we'll have awards and categories for cars on display as well. And then I started thinking of ideas. I said, you know what? How about a hop for the kids? And I think that was the best decision ever because during the show, like when we had the hop for the kids, that thing was just amazing. Like there's nothing more fun than watching kids trying to compete and and showing off their cards and stuff. And it was just a lot of fun. Dude, so that, that's kind of what brought me to building on my own, my own show. Dude, I, and I love that, bro. And that's and I think that, to me, is what kind of makes, you know, any hobby that you do in, in that much more enjoyable, right? When you are able to participate with your with kids, you know, and get them involved and kind of see the, the future, you know, so to speak, you know, kind of grow yeah. in, in the passion that they have, you know, with them, you know? Yeah. You know, I hear, I've heard in the past, uh, oh, you know, that low riding thing is dead. You know, even my dad, my dad's been in low riding all his life. And he was at the point where he sold his low riders. And I'm like, what are you doing, man? Like, you need to have some kind of car to build, you know, something we could go still have fun with. And he was like, I, I feel like it's dying out. And I feel, you know, it just, he's an old head. He just felt some of the things and add the things that were adding in, like, out, for example, like those hoppers that are out. He's like, I, I just feel that's a different kind of vibe and I'm not down for it. But I mean, he's back to building cars now. He has a 63 convertible building, but I feel like those kids are building on this and I feel like low riding is more alive than ever. Sure. You guys helped a lot with your RCs because a lot of kids are coming in and they love it. And then right after that, you have, uh, I go cruising here at 15th Street sometimes and you see a lot of young kids and low rider bikes and stuff. That That's like, I've, I'll be honest with you, all the time that I've been in lowriding, you hardly ever seen lowrider bikes at, at cruising events. And now you're seeing it on Whittier Boulevard. They got their lowrider bikes. You got you see it at, at the cruises on 15th Street, the lowrider picnics, where everyone's bringing out their bikes now. And they're, they're not just displaying them. They're actually driving them. And now, you know, you have Block Boys. You have Sweet Creation coming to almost every picnic. And they're traveling. And they're bringing out all their, their cars. They're bringing out their, pulling them in trailers. And everyone admires that because they're like, wow, that's that's really creative. Yeah. So I feel like this thing is, is about to blow up. Like we're at we're at a point where we feel like it's high, but I feel like it still has more to grow and it's gonna keep growing. And and I think that's again, you know, one thing that I think stands out to me the most out of you know, any sector of the hobby out there, you know? Yeah. So, you know, n- now moving forward. Um, you know, so your first event was a, su- a success. Um, you know, you, you had, you know, great people to, to mimic off of that, that had equal success. Block Boys RC, 
shout out, um, you know, for, for all the great work you guys did as well. Um, and you guys as a, you know, team have created pretty cool stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like individually, yeah. you guys have done great, you know? And, and so, you know, I, I appreciate even more so being able to see now what has transpired right now where we are and, uh, and where are we, bro? Tell us a little bit about this awesome new venture, uh, that's going on May 15th. Yeah. So due to the good, great success that I had and, and, um, and Chris with Block boys had with, with our shows, um, notorious entertainment reached out to us and at first they wanted the, the, the thought of a show was not in question. It was not even a thought. It was more like, so, Basically, Notorious Entertainment will have an, a lowrider exhibition for the whole duration of the of the uh, LA County Fair. So is, this is the hundredth anniversary of of the LA County Fair, and this is the first time ever that they will ever have lowriders at the fair, like on in the exhibition. So they were they they want to have every type of uh, every part of the culture in their lowrider bikes painters for lowriders, mural artists, pinstripers, lowriders on display for the whole month. And they asked us if we could uh, bring cars to put on display for the whole month. And at first it was like an awesome idea. And I was like really excited for it. But we kind of started thinking and uh, things didn't really work out to where we could set them up. There is going to be weekends where we could still go and just and like pretty much put our cars on display for, for the day and stuff. But I told them, what about uh, we have an event like we could have a car show on one of the weekends there like on a Sunday and, and make it like a big show where you know you, everyone will see the cars displayed they'll see the cars competing because I kind of told her like some of these displays they take a while people set them up and you know and, and it looks like a real car show but there's their RC so they are they really like the idea they were really excited for it and and so we're like let's go ahead and do it and that we took off from there. So we're gonna have a lowrider uh, RC car show and hop on uh, May 15th, which is a Sunday. Mark your calendar. And we're gonna Fox. have about 13 categories. Most categories are first and second place awards. We're gonna have a best of show for kids, a best of show for the grownups. And we also have a kids hop, a kids dance. And we're gonna have a regular hop and a modified hop. Cause as you can see, the modifications that are being done to these cars to make them hop higher now. It's, it's just amazing. Dude, that, that's sick, bro. That's, that's awesome, man. Uh, you know, so, you know, to, to recap, you know, LA County fairgrounds out in Pomona, California, right? Uh, yeah. May 15th. First time ever. They're going to actually have a lowrider heritage, you know, heritage, uh, lowrider culture, you know, uh, uh, exhibit going on throughout the entire month. And to me, like that in itself is like monumental, right? Like just yeah, to be able to keep team. it alive. And the, and also just the various things that are going to go on all month long, uh, of May. It, it kicks off May 5th, you know, the entire month of May. Uh, so that's awesome in itself. That's amazing. But then to be able to be reached out, have to have notorious reach out to you, uh, reach out to delegations, RC block boys, RC, and, you know, then come up with an avenue to then display the amazing artwork that so many people, you know, all over the world are doing and more, especially the West coast, because that's where this event is going to be held. Yeah. Right. Um, you got people that are going to travel to this. You got people coming from all over California, um, you know, to, to come to this event and to, hopefully take one of these prestigious prizes uh in yeah, one of these 13 shout out, real quick shout out to carlos Hernandez. he just put in his pre-reg yesterday from sacramento they dang oh, from sac all right from man sacramento so he's, he's gonna put in some uh some miles in so like i said you got guys from cali coming and i'm really happy to tell you right now bro and this is the first time you're probably hearing this um i am going to leave arizona on may 15th 5 a.m awesome taking a plane ride and I'm going to uh, go to this event. So if you are on the West coast, SoCal, NorCal, I'm planning on going, uh, your boy's going to be there as well. I'm going to take pictures of as many cars as I can just get media content so that we can reshare and highlight uh, this amazing collaboration between notorious entertainment, block boys, RC delegations, RC, and just the culture 
uh, that's so well and alive in what's going on. Uh, so, you know, man, I, I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, you know, inviting me out and, and just the hospitality involved with that. Um, man, I'm, I'm excited because this is going to be an event you're not going to want to miss out on. Um, yeah. You know, and with that comes a how-to. How can people register? How can people get signed up? Because do they just show up the day of the event? Do they, you know, need to do something? What, what Run us through the procedure, Martin. Well, I know it can get a little confusing right now. If you want to join this event and you want to pre-reg, the best way to do it is to reach me out on my email. It's mlara85 at iCloud.com. And uh, just, just so you guys know, send it, me is, an email. it is also in the description of this video for you as well. Yeah, so just send me an email. Let me know you want to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to email you a form. You fill out that form. It's $10 to register each vehicle. And uh, just submit it back to me through that email, and, and I'll get you pre-reg. Um, there is a deadline, and the deadline is not only for pre reg just for registration completely because uh, we need to know how many cars are going to be there so we could give the, the proper amount of tickets to the people that are going to be there. So you need to roll in between 8 and 9.30 to get your tickets to get in the fair. So just make sure you're on time for you for those of you that have uh, already pre mm-hmm. Um uh, We'll be sending you guys emails as well with more information on, on which gate to meet at because uh, there's a back gate where we're all going to be meeting at pretty much have to hey, drop those, off your those, cars. Those so. back gate deals, bro. They're a little sketch, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, it's just, it's a big event and we're just a small part of it, you know? Yeah. So, so we, we kind of have to work with the fair. Right. So, so here it is guys. Here's a recap. If you want to register, the deadline is this Friday, May 7th for you to be able to reach out to Martin at M as in Mary Lara, L A R A eight, Five at iCloud.com. You're going to pre-register with him. There's a $10 fee per car. Is that correct? Or per yeah, entrant? Per car. Per car. Per $10, car. Fee, $10 uh, entry fee for your car to register it for the event. Um, with that, you will be included how many tickets? Uh, so per participant, we're giving five admission tickets right. to the fair. So if you have, if you also, have four cars that you're bringing, you're going to pay $10 per car, but you're going to get five tickets total to and, be and able we'll to work with them if, if yeah. they feel they need more when we, you contact me and, and we can work with them and you know as long as it's not like i want 30 tickets and, right you know right so but, so so guys to, to keep in take that into, into consideration think about it 10 bucks gives you a full day of having fun it gets you in the fair as well i mean like that alone is worth way more than its weight so there's nothing you're doing on may 15th that is popping enough for you to not go to this event. Come hang out with us. Uh, again, mini hop, kids hop, uh, best of show. So show and shine situation. And it's going to be a cruise that we're going to try and do, right? Yes, we're going to try to do. And there's more, uh, in, including with those admission tickets. Each car entry mm-hmm. is going to get two raffle tickets. And let me tell you, these raffles are going to be great this time. So, um, so dude, that, okay. So think about it, guys. I'm going to take this out of the way because I'm, now I'm, now I'm going to be the hype man because now you guys are going to hear it. <laughs> Ten bucks gets you to the fair. Ten bucks gets your car on stage, right, in essence, of, yeah. of these highlighted builders on the West Coast. Ten, that same ten bucks that got you in and got your car registered is also going to get you an opportunity to have two raffle tickets to win some stuff that was donated by who, who's, who's, who's in this bad boy? So we right now, as of now, I've got I got a nice care package from Jeffries. Jeffries nice package from Red Cat as well. Okay, and, uh, we're still waiting on others uh, that that wait, might be also sponsoring. Wait, we donated? No, we didn't donate, dude. He's kidding. We didn't donate anything. Dude. We're good. Yeah, uh, I, you think, guys were I think really generous I think we sent. I, I think we sent a banner and a hat and a bandana. <laughs> and the bandana was a used one when I was sick. So I mean, just pass it around. I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally yeah, kidding. COVID. Yeah, it's 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 pre COVID. You know, but yeah. hey, nonetheless, man, think about it, guys. For ten bucks, I mean, especially in a day and age where gas prices are astronomically through the roof, and let's face it, when you make a decision as to whether or not you're going to go somewhere, you're looking at your pocketbook. Well, this is the best bang for your buck. May fifteenth, if you're on the West Coast, I want to see you guys. I want to hang out with you guys. I want to hopefully, maybe even have one of you guys show me a good taco spot before I jam back out and head home because that's where it's at. Uh, but think about it, funnel cakes. You got the big. And big huge corn dogs you got you know burgers turkey legs, turkey legs man you got the whole <laughs> taco. yeah you got the whole spread of just an amazing 
atmosphere for 10 bucks. Like, I'm telling you, like, I just had to drop it. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. Just the, the fact that it's the 100th anniversary of the fair, they told me that, uh, I was told that about 1.4 million people attend the fair each year. So the, the fair's been on hold for the pandemic for the last two years. So this is going to be even bigger than that. And the fact that we have lowriders for the first time at the fair, I felt like it's a great opportunity that I would love to be a part of. So, I mean, taking on two shows in two months, believe me, it, it was it's, it's not hot. easy and it hasn't been. But I just felt like, you know what, the sacrifice would be worth it at the end of this, you know? Uh, absolutely. No, no, uh, of course. Um, I'm going to ask a quick question. Looks like we've got a couple questions coming up that people want to know. Uh, a, Martin, they want to know if, uh, are you going to hop because they want your title? That's me talking. No one actually asked that. I don't have the because title. Since but you're not, since I you're wanna, not gonna, since you, since you won't compete and I won't compete, maybe we can compete against each other. How about that? <laughs> All right. For yeah, Brian, you know, we'll do it for the taco. You know. I I tell you what, I I really want. I have a car that I want to hop, but I'll I'll let the participants decide if I'm able to participate or not because I want to keep it as fair as possible. No doubt. If if I'm if the the reason is I want the crown. Right. Uh, that's one thing I forgot to mention at my show. I I brought a, a crown for the best hopper. So Fernando from Block Boys won that crown. So the deal with him is, if whoever wins the next hop, he has to pass the crown. And that's ah, the deal. That's okay. kind of something that that I started and, and that everyone. Well, Fernando from Block Boys is willing to to uh, kind of contribute to it by saying, nice. "Yeah, I'll pass my crown to that's the next awesome. guy." It's a really nice crown, not the craziest gold no, millionaire no. crown, but, but it's it's the meaning it has behind best it. Best hopper, king hopper on the on the on the front. So yeah, you know, I mean, Fernando, I seen his car yesterday. I, it's gonna be hard to beat him, but right. he, he looks like he so he's Lu- gonna be good. No hop, Louie wants to know if he shows up and registers. Does he have to stay there throughout the entire day, or can he leave early? So if you you, if you, you register, yeah, if, if, if you register for the event. You gotta, you, roll, you gotta roll. You gotta roll in. You gotta roll in at eight thirty, nine o'clock, no matter what. Yeah, because if you don't, we can't guarantee you tickets to get into the show. You know, and that's pretty much like we can't be sitting at a gate the whole day waiting well, for people to come in. You know what on. I mean? Hold on, hold on. Eric Tassano says, "Let Oscar be the guest judge. We know he can't hop anyways." Eric, the only reason you have 30... Hold on, no. Hey, no, don't agree with that, fool. No, no, I agree <laughs> with you being the, the judge. <laughs> no, but, hey, Eric, there, Eric would not have 30,000 followers on TikTok if it wasn't for videos of my Monte Carlo hopping. So I just want to, I just want to, I just want to sprinkle that out there. All right. Hitachi, why, why your modern Carlo hopping though? What why is, is the reason? Why is the reason? Because Reefs RC, that's the reason. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's hey, about- no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll t- okay. So the way I met Martin was I, Martin actually offers and sells the, the hopper switch. Show him, show him the one you got behind you. I know you got one there with you. And so I had, I had to have one, right? So I know I'm probably wasn't the first one to have one of his, but it was it just like the 64. It was just, it was a must have for me. I had to have it. And, uh, dude, I take videos everywhere I go, just dog, 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 just hitting switches. Ironically enough, it does really well for Eric. Um, it doesn't do well on my TikTok. Um, I think I lose followers when I post about RC Lowriders for some reason. Uh, but I gain followers whenever I eat tacos. So it's, it's kind of weird. But we'll go with it. You know, show them that switch. There it, it is. is. There it is. So least, I know you guys have seen it. Mart- right Martin's been, you know, um, offering these, what, maybe a few months now, right? Yeah, it's been about a month or two. Yeah, yep, yep. Actually, just about a month. Yeah, two months, you could say. And to me, it's probably like the best accessory I could ever have added to any, you know, of my, my hoppers. Who are my non-hoppers that I made hoppers, you know? Uh, but, dude, yeah. that, that that's awesome, bro. So, guys, think about it. You know, just to kind of recap a little bit. You know, the deadline is this Friday, May 7th, 2022. You want to go in and reach out to Martin Lara at mlara85 at iCloud.com. Register. 10 bucks gets your car in. If you have two cards, it'll be 20 bucks because 10 bucks per car. But you're guaranteed per actual person five tickets to get into the event. So make it a, a family event. Think about it. 10 bucks gets you five tickets. You can bring your wife, you know, your, your daughter, your son, you know, bring grandma out because she's got to get out, you know, bring la cuñada out, you know, whatever you got to do to keep everyone happy. It's just, it's a great, great environment and great opportunity to get out. So, um, you know, definitely join the crowd, 
Make sure to reach out, pre-register. We want to see it in numbers. We want to see this really grow. We want to see what kind of support we can get out of the RC Lowrider community as a whole. And that's why seeing, you know, folks like Delegations RC, Block Boys RC, he's just teaming up together to bring their minds together, to bring you guys another awesome event. Dude, that's why I, I had to be there. And uh, thankfully, the bosses all agreed, so I'm coming. I'm going to have a good time with Martin. I'm going to have a good time with whoever else is there. Hopefully, Louie will come out. Uh, Joe Esparza, what's going on? Corey Hayes is cracking up at our jokes. Uh, Eric Sarceno says, I taught Louie everything he knows. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, but that's awesome, man. Hey, you guys awesome. got to you guys gotta check out Nene's lives on TikTok at night, man. The, yesterday, they had me rolling. Dude, you Nene, guys were Nene, Nene, each other. Nene was on fire, bro. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I... You know, Usually like that time at night, I try not to get on anymore. I try to shut my mind down and what what have you, you know, just to kind of chill. But, dude, I'm I'm excited. I really truly am excited to see this you know event happen. And uh, there's great things. We got you know Reefs RC sponsored this event, so Reefs RC sent a uh, care package of some things that'll be raffled off. Uh, again, Jeffries, big shout out to Jeffries. Love you, brother. Uh, we'll see you very soon as well. Um, you know. That'll be a great avenue. He sent a care package as well for things that'll be raffled off. Uh, Red Cat Racing wanted to also, you know, dibby down and uh, send some things out. And uh, if you haven't seen the pictures posted of what was sent uh, that will be raffled off, you should really do some research uh, because uh, there's going to be some goodies that are going to be given out and raffled out. And again, it's yeah. no purchase necessary, you know, when you think about it. I mean, you're, besides the registration of your car. Uh, so come on out. Let's have a good time. Uh, you know, the first one to bring me a funnel cake, you know, I'll, I'll take a picture sure with you I don't, I don't know what, what's, what's a good prize to give you know can't really give you nothing else i don't have nothing else i'm poor you know <laughs> uh, but i'm rich in friends and i'm rich in in, in good times and laughs so we, we we're all we need um but yeah man martin you know thank you so much bro you know i appreciate the I hard work you. you're putting behind the scenes and trying to get this happen shout out to everyone involved from notorious to uh, block boys delegations everyone that has their hands in this man i appreciate you guys all your hard work you know keep it moving keep it positive and really man i really want to see as many people as i can at this event so if you're down come on out tony gutierrez i want to see you brother come on out bro let's do it man um Mini me king of the street tacos. <laughs> Who knows? I, I'm working on something that I might I might bring out, and if it's done in time, uh, it might be its own little trophy, uh, like an Oscars Taco Choice Award or something. I don't know. Be um, sick. But I'll be bringing some uh, mini taco stickers as well. So whenever I see a car that I like, if you get tacoed, you know what's up. Um, you know you, you you're part of the crew. It's kind of like you know when when you go down to uh, uh, West Coast Customs, like I'm a pimp. You're right. You officially been pimped. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh man. So, Martin, um, we know where to find you at mlada85 at icloud.com to register. We know the deadline is May 7th, which is this coming Friday. So, you only have a few days left, two days left after today to get your registration in and get it going. Uh, again, it includes five tickets to get into the actual fair uh, for just your $10 fee per car that you're going to have registered in the event itself. Uh, it will include two raffle tickets uh, to a pretty substantial raffle that's growing as we speak. Um, and what else, what else do we, what else are we missing, brother? I mean, that's pretty much, uh, I, I want to say also like the awards, just the, so many categories. I mean, there's going to be a lot of categories and there's going to be a lot of, a lot of people taking nice trophies home because they're the actual trophies that we're going to be giving out. So, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a big event that I don't think anyone wants to miss. Like I said, the hop is going to be so much fun because we have the kids hop that just seeing the kids compete is, is so much fun. And uh, and then you got the modified hoppers that, you know, there's a crown that has to be dude. defended, you know? You know, dude, I'm telling you, I'm, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, I was debating on what I was going to bring, you know, and I think I'm just going to stick with what works. I'm going to bring the, uh, the money out. Um, I, I'm going to have to replace two pumps, you know, maybe three batteries because they're kind of, they're running a little weak last time I had it out. I ended up breaking a servo horn. It's my third servo horn I've, I've destroyed. I think it's time oh, to, to find some other options of stronger material because I'm just shattering them. It, it's a lot, it's a lot to ask of a short stroke shock on the Monte Carlo to, you know, hit back bumper, you know, all day long. And I like to be one of those guys that I like to 
hit the back bumper and do those kinds of things without completely just hacking up the chassis. Not, nothing against anyone else that's doing it. If that's you out there, no disrespect well, to have, you. Keep it going. Keep the modifications going, man. That's what see, keeps we it have a, We have a category just for that as well. Okay, what We're is no it? Oscar wins? It's a street street hop. Okay, so, so it's categories it's, for for pretty so, much. If you haven't done much to your car to modify the crazy lockups and stuff, so the category yeah. is what? What is it again? Street hop. Street hop. Yeah. Okay, so the category, guys, that I'm going to be winning is called Street Hop Oscar One. Um, <laughs> make sure you check me out on May 15th Sunday. I'm um, just kidding. I'm probably not, but um, on, on the real, man, it, it's 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 something great to look forward to. It's a family event, um, man. Let's have a good time and let's turn out, man. Let's show up. You know, everyone on the West Coast. I know there's a lot of you guys out there, and you guys are looking for opportunities to get out of the house and do something. Well, here you go for just pennies on the dollar. Let's make it happen. Let's have a good time. May 15th, uh, L.A. County Fairgrounds. I want to see you guys there. Let's make it happen. Um, yeah. With that said, man, uh, let me double check to see if we have any other last-minute questions. Um, let's see. Uzu says he would make it out if he wasn't in Florida at the, at the moment or living in Florida. So there's a lot of people that want to come out. You know what I'm saying? Funnel bread, oh, fry bread, yeah. Hey, so I had fry bread for the first time. Bro, have you ever had fry bread? Fried bread. Is fried. that the pambaso? It's kind of like that, yeah. It's like a thick yeah. thick masa tortilla or flour tortilla with, like, meat, beans. I'm sorry, I'm hungry again, as you can You're tell. You're making me hungry, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had it for the first time of the day. I was introduced to it, and I think it, it totally just blew me away. Um, but, man, um, again, Double, triple, quadruple shout outs to uh, Block Boys RC, Notorious Entertainment, and of course, Delegations RC. Martin Lara, man, you're a great man. I love what you're doing with the hobby. Keep promoting it in the positive light. All of you guys involved, man. I appreciate you guys. Uh, much love. We got Gabriel saying what's going on from Fresno, California. Jesse Macias is in the house saying what's going on. It's his grandson's birthday. Uh, baby Macias, grandson Macias, happy birthday to you, bro. I hope little man is doing great and is enjoying his amazing birthday from all of us at red cat happy birthday um yes fry fry bread house in phoenix I, that's the place i actually tried out milo thank you for that it was fire i yeah it's i'm gonna have to go there again tomorrow is it an addiction if you go twice in a week like like two days back to back because i mean asking for a friend but i might go Friday. i know you're the taco guy but i eat tacos more than once a week so dude i, I dude I, I start <laughs> off so funny thing funny story i start off my monday and i'm like okay the taco spot i go to it's fire you know a little hole in the wall spot here near work um and uh they have tacos you know pozole you know burritos a full menu so mondays usually what i do is i go down and grab myself you know Four tacos. I kind of keep it modest, you know, because I'm on, trying to stay light. And I had a salad that day, too, you know. <laughs> um, and then you do, I go home, and, and, like, my dad surprised me. He's like, hey, I made some barbacoa. You know, we're going to have some some, um, some tacos. I was like, shoot, let's do it up, man. It's a good day when you get tacos twice in one day. Ironically oh, yeah. enough, Tuesday, because Taco Tuesday, and I'm not for Taco Tuesday. I'm for Taco every day. But Tuesday is the only day that my taco spot is closed ironically enough so you know I, that day is usually the day i, I kind of go against the grain and i won't do tacos you know maybe maybe the other taco spot maybe just not their tacos but um you know it, so yeah so then wednesday comes around like today and you know at lunch i had more tacos and i think tomorrow <laughs> will be more tacos so you know what i'm saying like Fried bread and tacos yeah dude and so you know no doubt man uh rcb tina guy oscar you're gonna <laughs> have to make the Cheech into a hopper. Hey, I'm not allowed to touch that car anymore, apparently. I guess uh, I, I want to get too radical with it, and they want to keep it pristine and looking dope. I get it. I'm over here just like, <laughs> let's cut the dr trunk open, you know? Let's let's do this. Let's uh, let's add, like, five smoke machines inside of it so it's just coming out of everywhere, you know? That's a really cool build right there. Right, that was, right. That was crazy. Hey, that, that was an awesome love build. Machine. Yeah, and, and everywhere we take that thing. It's the one thing that everyone noticed. Oh, it's a Cheech and Chong car, you know. Um, so, man, nonetheless, it's uh, it's been a great show, man. I appreciate you filling in all the people about all the statistics, uh, where to find you at. I know I've said it like a broken record over and over again. But, again, May 7th is your deadline to register your car for the May 15th show at the L.A. County Fairgrounds. If you are interested in participating, please email 
Martin Lara at M Lara eighty five at iCloud.com. It's a ten dollar registration fee per car, but per person that actually registers cars, you get five free tickets to get in. It should be a great family day event. Come on out. Come on. Come on. Bring the family out. Let's have a good time. And uh, Martin, again, man, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for taking the time to talk to you. us about this. And I'm hyped, man. So I look forward to seeing you that morning. Yeah, I can't wait. It'll be a fun event. I'll see you there. You got it, man. Wait. From me to all of you guys, from Martin, myself, Block Boys RC, Delegations RC, Notorious Entertainment, Red Cat Racing, we just want to wish all of you guys an amazing rest of your week. And we'll see all of you guys here very soon next week. And happy back. Mother's Day to the beautiful oh, mothers. Oh, that's of right. All of us. That's right. We Thank all got you. A mother. Thank you for that. Hey, don't forget, Sunday is Mother's Day. So make sure it's still early enough. Make plans. Make sure you call your mama. Make sure you hug her. Make sure that we all give our moms the love and support that they need. All the wifeys out there that uh, I know there's a lot of men in here that watch. you. So a lot of you have support systems at home that may be a mom already or maybe a future mom to come. Hey, just make sure you go out there and uh, and you show them love, appreciation, and support. And let's always, like anything else, let's keep it positive. So for me to all of you guys, happy Mother's Day coming up. You guys stay blessed. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. And then following May 15th, I will be at the L.A. County Fairgrounds to videotape and get a lot of footage of this amazing event. So you guys stay safe, and we'll see all you guys very soon. And like Yoshi said, buy your mama a red cat for Mother's Day. <laughs> Earn some points. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'm a mama. I'm to take care, bro. All right. Thank you.